In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for FeNO3 3 plus NaOH. This is iron 3 nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. When we do net ionic equations, the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I can see I have three nitrate ions here and only one over here. So I'm going to put a 3 as my coefficient. That gives me three sodiums, balances the nitrates, so I'll put a three in front of the sodium hydroxide. Now I have three hydroxides, but I have three hydroxides here already. That's fine. I have one iron here, one here. So this equation, that's balanced. That's the molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. So for iron three nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. If you know your solubility rules, we're going to write a little AQ right there. That's aqueous. This will dissolve dissociate into its ions. Sodium hydroxide, that's a strong base, it's a strong electrolyte, so that's going to dissociate as well. A little aqueous here. Most hydroxides aren't soluble, but with this group one, like sodium, potassium, those are soluble. Most of the other hydroxides, they aren't soluble. So when we react these two compounds, we'll get this iron three hydroxide, but it's going to be a precipitate. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube because it's insoluble. It is a solid. We said nitrates, very soluble. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. So for the nitrate ion, that's always one minus. Then iron, because we have three negative charges, iron needs to be three plus. It's iron three nitrate. So for iron three nitrate, we have Fe three plus and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that for each thing right now. Plus, we have three of these nitrate ions, three of the NO3 minus ions. Sodium's in group one, has a one plus charge, then this hydroxide ion, that has a one minus. So we have our three sodium ions and three hydroxide ions. Oops, there. And these are the reactants. For the products, we have iron three hydroxide. It's a solid. Net ionic equations, we don't split solids up. So it's just FeOH3. Then we have plus and minus. So we have three sodium ions plus those three nitrate ions. Once we've got these split up the strong electrolytes, we can cross out spectator ions. These appear on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So as I look at this, I see I have three nitrate ions here and three nitrate ions here. Just cross those out. Three sodium ions, three sodium ions. Cross them out. And what remains right here, these are unique, that's the net ionic equation for FeNO3 3 plus NaOH. Let me clean it up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation for iron three nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. And this is the net ionic equation for iron three nitrate and sodium hydroxide. You'll notice I have three hydroxide ions here. I have three of them here. I have an iron atom and an iron atom. And if you look, the charge is conserved as well. I have a three plus here, three times the negative hydroxide group. Those balance out to give us a neutral compound. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.